on to you Aquarius out here. You have the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and you Aquarius have the Magician. A lot of you Aquarius are very, very focused um, on making <clears throat> your hopes and your dreams a reality. Uh, Aquarius represents the zodiac sign <clears throat> of long-term goals, long-term dreams actually manifesting. So it's something that you've wanted for a very long time. And a lot of you Aquarius are actually finally being able to really get to what it is that you want, get to the bag. But it's much deeper than that. It's larger than that. It's broader than that. It's much more about the, the desires that you Aquarius have had for a very long time of the things that you wanted, like I said, for a very long time. And being very focused and disciplined. And the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords represents... A lot of you Aquarius are not only focused, but you don't really care about other people's opinions, what it is that they have to say about you at this time. There's a sense of you Aquarius very much so, um, you Aquarius very much so. Kind of like what Eminem does when he basically takes the ammunition away from other people, the things that they are gonna say. That's what you Aquarius are doing. You're listening to your, you already know what some people are gonna say. They're gonna say that for whatever reason, you Aquarius are not good enough because of how you act, right? Moralism, moralism, moralistically. And a lot of you Aquarius know that y'all are not that way anymore. You haven't been that way ever. So the judgment, the four of cups and the eight of wands right here represents they're just passing all these type of judgments onto you, but they don't actually really know you like that. And even if there one once was a time where they did know you, they don't know you now because they don't know you anymore. Right. You've changed since then for the better. And um, the eight of wands right here represents how um, this is about how a lot of you are going to do your own thing right um you're going to do your own thing you're going to live your own life and like i said you're accomplishing set goals there's a lot of happiness time right now to celebrate the justice and the sun card this is something that you've been very patient about you've patiently waited to actually really have a chance to get what it is that you want and now you Aquarius finally have it right again it goes deeper than just bread it goes deeper than money you Aquarius are in a situation where you're happy to be in a position that you're in joyful got yourself the significant other if not because I know many of you Aquarius are also telling me that you're single look for you for you new people who are watching regardless of whether you're in a relationship amazing you know, you got in a relationship, you have the person that cares about you and everything like that. And then not only that too, but you also have someone to share the wealth with and huge accomplishments, right? Um, maybe you Aquarius are starting up a business, right? And you're the CEO slash chairperson. So let's clarify the sun card, <clears throat> right? A lot of attention coming your way. You have the Emperor, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Nine of, of uh, Wands, and then you, Aquarius, actually have the Seven of Cups. So these five cards right here for you, again, the Emperor is self-explanatory. A lot of power, influence, say so in how things handle, how how things get handled on a daily basis when it comes to you. You Aquarius very much so feel empowered. You are empowered. The, night, the, the sun card also represents the type of attention that your family members, people at the job, maybe even people who are romantically interested in you, see you, they see you as a person that's out here doing your thing. And then the things that the knight of, the, the knight of wands and the four of swords represents how since that's the case, a lot of you are in a, very good position because the knight of wands and the four of swords 
you Aquarius are not going to other people. You single Aquarius are not going to do the approaching. Y'all are focused on handling y'all business. You know when you get jacked in, you go to your job, maybe you run a business, like I said, you handle business, you go home, you shower, you rest, you wake up two, two three hours later to go to the gym, you work out at the gym, easy, right? Because so, it doesn't mess with your sleep schedule. You go, you come right back to the house, you eat something, maybe you don't eat, maybe you just drink some water, you go right back to sleep quite easily. It just, it just for whatever reason, it doesn't mess with your sleep cycle. That's the kind of zone, I'm, and I'm just using that as an example, right? But that's the kind of zone that you Aquarius are in, where it's like you're tapped in, you're dialed in, everything is working because you. it's not this rigidity to you. It's this sense of you Aquarius understanding what's happening. And then the Nine of Pentacles and the, uh, excuse me, the Nine of Wands, excuse me, and the Seven of, of uh, Cups right here represents you Aquarius are, if you're a single Aquarius, you are the one that's chosen by many people. There's a lot of people chasing you. For you Aquarius who are in a relationship, this person loves you quite a lot and they're happy at the fact that they see you Aquarius shining, flying high, doing your thing, right? Whatever verbiage you wanna use. And they're happy for you. They're happy at the fact that you know, you Aquarius work so hard and you're doing your thing and things are starting to actually come about that you can actually use, right? Things that are, are amazing for you. So um, let's clarify the justice and then get out of here. So So you have the Four of Pentacles, the World, the Nine of uh, the Nine of Swords, the uh, Five of Pentacles, and then you have the Five of Wands to clarify the justice. So um, what I'm seeing here for you is is that the Four of Pentacles and the World, um, you Aquarius are not going to get knocked off of your zone. You're not going to get knocked out of your zone. You know, you're going to actually, you're going to gatekeep that. You're going to try to figure out how to stay in said zone. One of the best ways, I have the answer to that right now. One of the best ways to do that is to meditate or to pray, you know, depending on whatever side you rock with. Um, but it's to meditate. You know, many studies have proven that meditation really does help control your behavior as well as keep you um, in a kind of like in a trans like state, right? Trance, like myself, right? I'm meditating. I'm over here in a trans like state. I don't, I don't really see, feel, hear, touch, taste anything but my own energy. So the Nine of Wands and the uh, the Five of Pentacles right here, right? Excuse me, not Nine of Wands. The Nine of Swords, excuse me and the nine of pentacles, you got the nine of swords prior to this. This represents once again, like, you know, all the hard work that you Aquarius are doing really is paying off slowly but surely, right? It's starting to compound, starting to get bigger and bigger as time go on. And the five of wands represents, but I will say this though, to end it off, you Aquarius do have some people that don't want you to succeed, that are jealous, that see, what type of work you're doing it doing or or there are some challenges where you're gonna have some people that, that are gonna pop up right you know these goofies that's gonna pop up and be like i can help you you know these bots never mind about them you of course are doing an excellent job that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video peace